Hello, my name is Barbara Duck, and today I'm going to do a short review on the Sahara Slate Tablet I440D from Tablet Kiosk. This is a great unit, and I've been working with it for a few days here, and I'm going to put some screenshots on about how this dictation works with the unit, coupled with the Array microphone. So sit back and enjoy, and don't be too critical. One of the items that I have found to be absolutely superb are the graphics on this unit. And I've got a little software here that actually let us float around some desktops here. So let's give this a whirl. Bring this up to the camera. One of the other nice features of the unit is to boot the computer, and before it logs you on, you can use the biometric logon. So I've registered both a thumb and a forefinger here, and that saves having to enter passwords. Something else I found of interest is uh, it's some free software that will basically allow you to 3D and move your windows around. So. Again, I'm using this to show the graphic capabilities of the screen here. So as you can see, I can just kind of move the windows around, and the response is great. And like I said, this is kind of not really productive, but it sure is a lot of fun sometimes to play with the windows, to bring them back. Double tap, and your window is back. And add some extra little icon graphics on the Sahara unit. As you can see how responsive it is, the stylus, and again, I can switch this over to touch screen as well. Okay, so let's do this one more time with fingertip control. See, I can move the windows around, park them, and then again to bring the window back, double tap, and there we go. Simple. Okay, and for my next act of wizardry, now that we have the windows 3D'd and kind of hanging out there in space, let's do a little um, arrow. Yeah, is to set up our microphone. Oh, Go into yes. the control panel, speech recognition, set up microphone. Go to other, since we're using the array microphone. Next. Peter dictates to his computer. He prefers it to typing and particularly prefers it to pen and paper. One to ten. Period. He feels much more comfortable, period. He denies any shortness of breath or dizziness and states that the pain feels unlike any other pain he has felt in the past, period. The patient has no other complaints at this time, period. New paragraph. General colon. Delete that. General colon. Delete that. General colon. The patient is a well developed, comma, well nourished white male in no acute distress, period. The patient is alert and oriented. X3, delete that, times 3, period. New line. This has been a very simple demonstration on how Microsoft Vista, capitalize Vista, delete that, capitalize Vista, delete that, works with voice recognition, period. What I did not state is that I have a radio running in the background 
making a considerable amount of noise. Delete that. Making a considerable amount of noise. Period. I am also about four feet away from the tablet, which normally one would be much closer. So in essence, I'm really trying to put this to the test. Period. And that concludes the demonstration on how to use Microsoft Vista Dictation. Period. Close that. Yes. Test document. One, okay. Save. Three, okay. Okay. Stop listening. Thanks for stopping by and taking a look at my video. Again, I tried to point out maybe some of the things that aren't always addressed in a review, and I hope you found them interesting. Uh, Vista Dictation, this was not recorded under perfect conditions, which is the way you want to test it, but you will hear radio if you listen closely playing in the background and a few other noises going on. But that's how you do the real test. So again, thank you for stopping by, and I hope you enjoyed the graphics. And